Benjamin, how many did you get rid? Yeah. Nine? Hey, Benjamin, that's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Not nine, Miss Williamson. He got none. <laughs> He was called the dumbest kid in class. Teachers laughed, classmates mocked, even he started to believe he wasn't good enough. But one woman, his mother, refused to accept it. I'm dumb, mother! No, you ain't. You a smart boy. Listen to me, listen to me. You just ain't using that smartness. This is the true story of Ben Carson, the boy from Detroit who went from failure to fame and from hopelessness to becoming one of the world's most brilliant neurosurgeons. Ben Carson grew up in poverty. His single mother, Sonia Carson, worked multiple jobs just to feed her two boys. Life was hard, the rent was late, the fridge was empty, and the noise of the streets never stopped. Ben struggled in school. His classmates were faster, smarter, and more confident. And when he brought home bad grades, he almost gave up. But his mother, a woman with little education, told him something that changed his life forever. You can be anything you want to be in this life, as long as you're willing to work at it. She turned off the TV, made Ben and his brother read two books every week and write reports, even though she couldn't read them herself. At first, Ben hated it, but slowly, something changed. The words in those books opened his mind. His imagination came alive. He began answering questions in class. His grades rose, and from the bottom of the class to the very top, the same teachers who once called him dumb started calling him brilliant. Ben discovered something powerful. The brain is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Success didn't come easy. Ben still faced anger, racism, and self-doubt. One day, he almost stabbed a friend during an argument. That moment broke him. He locked himself in a bathroom and prayed, asking God to take away his temper. And from that day, he changed not just his mind, but his heart, and began to believe that his life had a purpose far greater than his circumstances. He studied harder than ever, earning a scholarship to Yale University. After graduation, he went to medical school, specializing in neurosurgery. The same boy who was once called stupid was now operating on the human brain. At just 33 years old, Ben Carson became the director of pediatric neurosurgery at Johns Hopkins Hospital, one of the youngest in history. Then came the moment that made history. In 1987, Ben led a 22-hour surgery to separate twins joined at the head, something no one had ever done successfully before. The risk was enormous. One wrong move could cost both lives. Ben's steady hands, his faith, and his calm mind led his team through it. And for the first time ever, both twins survived. That surgery became a miracle in medical history and earned him the name Gifted Hands. Ben Carson's story reminds us that genius is not born, it's built. Faith, focus, and a mother's love, a boy once written off as hopeless, came a legend. So whenever you feel like giving up, remember this. Your background doesn't define your destiny, your mindset does.